Okay. English, English, English. Yep, it's on. Let's bring it up about here. About here, maybe? Yes. Uh, no thanks right now about that. Standard, yes. Is it going to bring me up to actual main menu, or... Do I just go ahead and do my intro? I'll go ahead and do my intro while I'm here. Or not? Okay. Capcom games. <laughs> this is this different. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Angry mobs the city. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. Mm -hmm. He was knocked unconscious. He a citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Mm-hmm. Umbrella. Commitment, honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Do you need friends? The G virus. This foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Kind of. Just not the way you think. Okay, I'm guessing that's been making Nemesis. I guess I'll go to do it here. Hello everybody, my name is Horror Gamer Alex, and welcome to Resident Evil 3 Remake. Also known as Resident Evil Free Nemesis. Wait, my dog's over here, right next to me. Rock Corporation? Is that Nemesis? Codename Nemesis, yep. I think just start without even having an actual menu screen. Hmm. That's my nose itches. Okay, I'll go ahead and actually do my intro here, so. <laughs> like I said, welcome to Resident Evil 3 Remake. So, not too long ago, we just finished Resident Evil 2 Remake, both Leon and Claire's route. I believe this one only has one route, I believe. <sighs> I don't know too much about this one. I know that it takes place during the same time as Resident Evil 2 in Raccoon City. I know we play as Jill Valentine, which is the character we played as for uh, Resident Evil 1 Remastered. As well as this one being the one known for having Nemesis. Even if you're not a big Resident Evil buff, you know who Nemesis is. Whether you've seen him in movies or just heard of him, everyone knows who Nemesis is. Well, let's check, take our shot against him, I guess. Let's see how this goes. Okay, what's with this static screen? Okay, I'm playing. This one's in first person? That is different. I thought only Resident Evil 7 and 8 did first person. I couldn't see the Umbrella 5. Is that Annette Birkin? I don't know who that is. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell who a lot of these people are. Mm. Are we playing as Jill right now? Cause this this does take place like months after the uh, Spencer Mansion incident. Yeah, we're playing as Jill. Hey, Jill. Been a while. Hope you're doing well. No, I think this is just a nightmare. Yeah, I think she's having a nightmare after what happened with the Spencer Mansion. Yeah, this is a nightmare. 
<laughs> oh, hold on now. Okay. That was a nightmare, right? Yep, I called it. <laughs> <laughs> Gets worse every night. That's usually how nightmares go, especially since this one I guess is rooted with some PTSD due to you being one of the survivors of the Spencer Mansion incident. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. I don't think you'll be able to escape this town that easily. Still a first person perspective. Is that how this whole game's gonna be? Okay. Is I'm getting a call from spam risk? No. Too many pills. That is a lot of meds. Man, it feels weird playing this in the first person after playing Resident 1 Remastered and 2 with it being third person. Unsealed envelope. They got me pinned out home. Guys across the street are watching me from the window 24 7. Are they Ironsmen? Umbrellas? Ah, oh, no, and there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. Okay. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to solace me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever it is that they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I close my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'm moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Okay, who were you going to give that letter to? To Jill Vanta. Hey, Hotshot, how are you holding up? I still can't believe Irons suspended you. Well, to be fair, Irons is working for Umbrella, and Umbrella is the whole cause of both the Spencer Mansion incident as well as this one. <sighs> he, ought to be, he ought to pin a medal on you for making out a very lie back in July. Talk about a mansion? Yeah. Of course, he's going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was a prided force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. I'll be fair, a good chunk of stars got killed back in the mansion. Where has it? You're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figure you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by well. You try to dismantle her business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. That's the uh, chopper pilot from the first game, the one who helped like save us after we defeated the tyrant. Starts off a team, now forever. P.S. had to slip this message to the PC guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large mega meat supreme. It's on me and the guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. It's nice seeing that name keep on popping up, Brad Vickers. Cause that was the helicopter pilot who picked us up after we killed the uh. Uh, the Tyrants at the end of the first game remastered. Come on now. Oh. Don't worry, Jill. You're not infected. You're not going to die. You survived a mansion. You will survive this. You do look tired. Oh, okay, now we're back to being in third person. Okay, there we go. As uh, someone is calling me. Okay, the phone's over there. Hello, this is Marco's Pizza. How may I help? <laughs> Hello? Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Oh, hey, Brad. Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now! Alright, let me grab my- ah! Whoa, okay, he showed up early. We're only nine minutes into the video and he's already here? Uh oh, that is not good. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That's not gonna do anything. Mm-mm. Oh. Jesus. Okay, that's definitely not good. 
The man broke through the wall like he's the Kool-Aid man. Found be the nemesis. He, he's here already? We just started the game and he's already here. That's not gonna hold him for long. He's got a window. Up, oh, yep, the infection has started. Looks like we're seeing the beginnings of the infection outbreak. Interesting. In the Resident Evil 2 game, uh, we start off like two weeks after, like a week or so after, a few days or a week after the first outbreak. Oh, okay, that's a tentacle. That's not good. Why didn't you? Oh, there we go. So I'll say. Don't turn back now. Great, this place is on fire. That's always good. But yeah, police cars are everywhere. The outbreak has officially begun. Ooh, okay. And now I'm back inside the building. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we're now on a lower floor. <laughs> what in the world is he doing? I'm just going, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I got you. I forgot to disable those. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to turn off the uh, achievements. Okay, this is quite a start to the game already. We're not even a full 20 minutes into the game. We're already being chased by the nemesis. That took zero minutes. Jill? Over here. Brad? Oh, hi, Brad. What are you doing here? You okay? What was that thing? Damn if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Yeah. Because the whole town is, yep. What happened so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. Well, yeah, that's... like Arkley on steroids. Arclay Mansion was not this bad. This is a whole city full of zombies. At least about to be full of zombies. Hey, Zombie infection spread very fast. I mean, think about the Dawn of the Dead remake intro. That one kind of is a good way to show the beginnings of a zombie outbreak. It happens very quickly. A bite? Transfers? It's even worse that the rats were the ones who transferred to the people of the city. That's what helped make it go very fast. It's the same way with the bubonic plague back in the day. That was also because of rats. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not because of fleas that were on rats. <laughs> Door behind you, go! And he's a goner. Great. Yes, we do. Still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Yeah. R.I.P. Brad. Jeez. I'm sorry, Brad. R.I.P. Brad. The man was trying to be a good man, but he was careless and he got bit. Whenever you get bit, you're doomed because you're infected then. Thanks for the handgun. Nah, not about to let that happen. Boom. Uh, oh, uh, okay, maybe not kill them. I don't have ammo. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, how do I crouch? Or I just go towards it. Good enough for me. 
As there's zombies coming out of us. Why is a police officer a zombie? Oh, you're human. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. It's a worse idea to stay in here, man. What are you doing? The garage isn't far. I can the only you. safe place is in here. No, you're, you're cornering yourself in the worst possible position. Okay, that guy's basically zombie chow. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Safe house? Seriously? That guy's not gonna last for even a minute. He's dead. Okay, it's like same setup with Resolute 2's inventory style. I could probably get more hip pouches that allow me to actually be able to do, well, get more items. Okay, I don't want to deal with the dogs now. I do not have the ammo to be dealing with the zombie dogs. I don't even have enough ammo to really be dealing with the zombies. <laughs> okay. How did... How is he... Okay. I'm not gonna ask. Come on. To be fair, I could have easily told you that... Elevators are the worst idea in zombie games. Or movies. Just don't go on elevators in any zombie situation. Always take stairs. There we go. Never take an elevator in a zombie apocalypse. Never. Always take the stairs. Always take the stairs. Best way to do it. I can tell this is not going to go well. Yep, I called that. Very quickly. <laughs> and here comes Nemesis. Please, somebody gonna just run him over. <laughs> Start, damn it. It's my turn, bitch. Catch a ride. Ooh. How did you survive that, Jill? Oh my god, how did you survive that? And of course he's still alive. He is a tyrant after all. And the most famous one of that. <laughs> Now that's the, the nemesis face I know and love. Well, no. <laughs> oh yeah. He just deflected a rocket using a tentacle. Rockets are the only weapon we've used against tyrants to kill them. And he just deflected it. He's definitely not dead. Not from that. No way. Hey, easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Name's Carlos. Uh oh. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. And I already don't trust you because I saw the umbrella symbol on your patch on your shoulder. Now I do definitely do not trust you. Because umbrella never trust umbrella. Never. Mm mm mm. Nope. 
I think we're in the clear. Okay. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. Okay, that's kind of smart. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Hell squid. Tyrant of the deep. Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Wolf of the battlefield. Hey, you know about that Sudden death bowling. <laughs> Mars Castle, what? <laughs> Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Does yep. You like that in a man? Okay. No, thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you no. fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. What are you talking about? You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on, it's this way. Dino bites? Huh. This was not a bad idea. Skull stalker. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Biggie, comic books. And these kind of ones I'd read. <laughs> uh, where are these other survivors? Hey, Captain, this fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name. <laughs> she is an elite operative of RPD Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Stars. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Victor. Mikhail. My team was sent here to rescue Savit. Nice to meet you, Victor. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Makes sense, yeah. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. Yep. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. Mm. My men cannot do this alone. And I guess it's where I come in, basically. <laughs> Alright. I'm in. But I am on their side. Not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. Mm -hmm. I know what a radio is. <laughs> okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. You're Head right. Up level. You'll find supplies there. My man, hand me your gun. I'm gonna say again, hand me your gun. <laughs> Just robbed a soldier. <laughs> Am I crafting? Competitor, shotgun, mag ammo. Okay. Normal stuff like we did with the uh, Resil 2 remake. Normal stuff with the gunpowder. I don't have much room for it, but it's something, I guess. A new stand. Do I have a map yet? Yep. Page. <laughs> the cannibal murders a complete digest. Dig. Di digest. Digest? Excuse me. In a gray mor of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of Lamb's Museum of Art. Responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks have covered her body and she's been dismembered. 
suggesting she had been eaten, the third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. That's a big clue, y'all. So who's done it? Who's been munching on a man's steak? We here at the news comment have a gnawing feeling that the so-called Kimball disease patient Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since since August might not be selling for just the cafeteria food. Spencer Memorial, huh? As in like the Spencer Mansion? Reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial and asked a tough question to come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Oh, I wanted the scoop. Okay then. Anything here? No? Okay. Because we just gotta move up into the actual city. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? I just Working left. <laughs> so what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get in the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Now here we go. Items. Know how to combine? Okay. Bada boom, bada boom. Load. 15 rounds, that's pretty nice. Let's see. Ah, oh, red herb. Darn. It's still red, so there's more items to collect. Okay, so that's locked. I need a simple lockpick or key. Oh, it is about herbs? Yeah. Okay. What's this? Kuiper's Railway. Okay. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. Okay, it's a puzzle item. Okay. Oh, let me save. Okay, nothing important there. Okay. Mm, anything else or no? Done it. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Yep. Quick step. Oh, I got a dodge mechanic now. Okay, I, I was waiting for this for like so long. Okay, I guess I'm back over here. Ooh. Bada boom. And now we finally have a dodge mechanic. That's what make this a lot easier. Because the original 2 remake did not have a dodge mechanic. Because I kept on getting grabbed and killed because of it. This will make things so much more easier. I just gotta remember. To sidestep. Possibly a dodge like that. Can I go in here? That's a no. I like how we get to see more of the actual city. Because there's an Evil 2 remake. We didn't get to see nearly enough of the city. We mostly just saw... The police station, the sewers, and the nest. That's about it. We barely got to see any of the city. Oh. Boom. Just like that, and now he has no head. But she's already dead. Oh, that's freaky. Still big area. Okay, looks like we need a lock pick for that, or some sort of small key. Make sure. Now that's where it's going to get probably harder. Hmm. 
I thought I was going to break or something. Gunpowder? Good. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Okay, Carlos. Fuck you. Not the time. This means we'll be trying to flirt with me even though we're in a zombie apocalypse. Mommy needs to get his priorities together. Okay, I need a water hose. Okay. Oh yeah, those are gonna fall no matter what. Good thing I have explosive barrels. Oh, just that. Hmm. <laughs> Baba boy. Oh crap, there's still more of them. There's four? I don't have enough ammo for that many. Okay, it takes three headshots to kill them. This one over here is going to be a bit tricky to try and get one at. Of course I missed it. <sighs> Come on, let me get a clear shot at him. That was a twofer. I'm gonna take it. What's that thing? There's my answer. It stuns them? Interesting. But of course, it does not kill them. <sighs> Got only two more shots. If any of these miss, I'm screwed. Okay, one more bullet. Okay, apparently that still wasn't enough. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Nothing else I can say about that. It didn't kill him. One of them's nearby. Never red herb. Okay. Guess that's somewhat helpful. Okay, I think I see the eater. Yep. It's not good. I might need to try and my sidestep out. <laughs> Bruh, that sidestep was actually kind of clean. <laughs> okay. Now I got myself some ammo. At least now it makes it easier because I don't need to kill them. I just need to sidestep him. Oh, because that just led back over here. I still don't have the tool I need to get rid of the fire. So let me try to ever two pass. At least try the donut shop up there. After I get rid of this guy. Just like that. Can I even go into the donut shop, or...? Nice. Hello, Krispy Kremes. How you doing? Ah, oh, dang, those do look good, though. Look at the sprinkled ones. Mmm, mmm. That marshmallow's on that one? Yo, I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, had to make sure. Gunpowder. More ammo, thank you very much. Okay, I can't go to that side. This one also needs like a lockpick or something. Okay. Combine the green number to red. And also some more healing items. A fancy box. Let me examine it. Yep. It's a red jewel. Okay. Looks like some easy out of Zelda, but okay. Let's go ahead and save while we're at it. Do I have anything in the box that I should put up? Not just yet. Any other items? I don't think so. Uh oh. Crap. I need to find a better angle to do this at. Okay. A script. I sidestepped, I did not. Okay, it's a timing thing. Great, I'm on caution. That does not make any of this easier. Okay, let's see if I can try and group them. It looks like they're coming at around the same pace, so they come over here. I shoot the barrel. We're all hunky dory. Just like that. <sighs> Seriously, does that guy ever stay down? Okay. I'm only on caution, so there's no need to use up all my uh, healing items just yet. Yes, more ammo. Thank you. Let's see. Man, this place is still big. Let's look over here first. Let's... I need bolt cutters, bad. I do not have bolt cutters. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. Hmm. So I can do a few different paths and ways. There we go. Oh, come on. At least those barrels make it easier to get rid of the groups. So I can get more resources if. There we go. <sighs> Man, this place really is way too big. Let me see, does this lead back to the other part? This is just like a shortcut? Or to a whole other building side? This game really is a bit big. Probably because we're in the whole city instead of just in that one, uh... <sighs> I'm still on caution, which is good, I guess. August 24th, this new hair tonic from Bella just flying off the shelves. This stuff 
they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this in order to huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news had me worried. May I have to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in? The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Queen, Care Cure Queen. She never get it fit up for a thief. What? What does that mean? Aqua Cure Queen. Drugstore. Okay, I know where the drugstore is. So we'll probably find a code over there for the safe. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, yeah, so this just leads back to this. It connects back to it. Hmm. Man, this game really is so big. At least with how roomy it is, it feels a lot better than the PlayStation with it being so cramped. That dodge roll, though, was just nasty. Oh, I love that. That was awesome. Okay, we're back here again. This time... Let's go in here. We can go in there. Yeah, looks like I can go in here. Or not, bolt cutters. Okay, I guess we had to go back over to this side again. But it does seem like they all just lead back to that one uh, area. Moon's donuts, Jim's crabs, rich clothes. Moon's donuts. <laughs> Been a while since I've had a donut. Okay, let's see. Can't go there. Let's try the Kite Bros Railway. Okay, this will probably give me my uh, item I need for the thingy. Making sure. You never know if they're gonna, yep. Some of them seem to take three, some of them take four. Jeez. Okay, I think this is where I need to go continue with the main mission. Never mind, because here is the fire hose. Please, Mamo. Violence getting worse and worse these past days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Oh, please, do I grab that shotgun? Locking it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would be looters. I go ahead and try and find some shells. If things go south, cut a chain and bust out that sucker. I'll probably make it out alive. Sadly enough, it looks like you guys did not make it out alive. Gunpowder. And grenades, nice. Go ahead and use that. So we can at least pick up some other items. I don't have the bolt cutters. When I get the bolt cutters, I can finally grab the shotgun that's over there. Let's grab the hose. I guess let's do this while we're at it as well. This must be the subway company's offices. Ugh, using key items. I don't think this is gonna work for that. <laughs> In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop. Those with track segments will be used. The draft entered is unsafe and error will occur. Operations will not resume. Huh, nothing. Okay, so I need to get the power on first, then come do this. Okay, so I need to wait on this. 
Well, for now, let's go over to the drugstore, try and see if we get the code from over there, and head back to that one fire now that we have the fire hose. Okay, yeah, here's the drugstore. Aqua Cure Queen. Here we go. High grade gunpowder. Okay. There we go. Okay, I took a picture of the code. Bad news is I can't grab the gunpowder over here because I don't have the room. Or the herb. I think now I can find those. Where did you come from? Doesn't matter. Okay, now that we have the code for the safe, I'm hoping there's gonna be a hip pouch. Because that would be very helpful. I just used my healing items. Why didn't you stay dead? There we go. If he gets back up, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, let's see. Nine. Three. Seven. What? Nine. Three. Seven. Okay, I don't know why I didn't work the first time. That is... Oh, it's a dot sight for my handgun. Hey, upgrade for the gun. That makes things a lot easier. Okay. But the bad news is I still don't have the room for a lot of stuff. Hmm. I'm gonna head back to the donut shop. I'll put away the jewel for now because I don't know what to use it on just yet. Then I'll come back, get the high grade gunpowder, then hit the fire. Get rid of the fire. Bada boom, bada bing. That should be it. And we can head in over and try and get the power back on. So we can help route the train correctly. What was that sound? Jeez. You know, I don't know what sound that was. Okay, yeah. Store the jewel. Grab the high gray gunpowder. And then we get rid of the fire. Where is it's over here? Right on this shelf. I'm pretty sure it's mostly just used for gaining a shotgun ammo, but we plan to get the shotgun soon. For now, I'll probably put that into the box. Yeah, I'll put the gunpowder into the box since we don't have the shotgun just yet. Once we do, then I'll probably get it back up. Okay, let's see. The fire's over here next to the, the toy uncle? That is not a good name. <laughs> Oh boy. Toys R Us was better. R.I.P. Toys R Us. But at least now we can go for here. Okay, we finally got bolt cutters. And a save point. I'm still probably saving a bit too much. But hey, that's just how it is. Is someone in here? Still need a lockpick or something for that. Yeah, careful, careful. 
Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effective. No, 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 wait, please! <laughs> oh, no hesitation. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you? Say that to my yeah, gun, man. Come on. People? He would have turned. There's your sense of self preservation. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Okay, there's the shotgun shells. Uh, two cigarettes, stuck in prison. Just recruit me for a job. A job, don't know how they're gonna wipe out life sins from murdering 20 gangbangers. Whatever, I'll take it. What? Not really important. Okay. Where did he go? Any resources? There we go. This is Europe. Here to I never crack, no matter what's from me, but this job just was supposed to be easy, quick wage, I'd earn it. How about at once there are three guys in our squad, squad, all armed with state art assault rifles, yet we are wiped out in less than 48 hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. Knowing these types of infections, yeah, that sounds right. Mm, excuse me. I've been through enough to know it only ever gets worse. In the voucher's beginning, maybe I'm a coward. I don't care, this is the only way out I have left. Just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Ooh. Good news, he didn't get back up. So at least there's that good news for him. What's this? Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. Oh, those are fatal. If one were to be stuck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could get electrocuted. Oh, that's what the thing was that we used earlier. You got that? If you see generators spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything. Stupid. Safety first as soon goes. If we make it through this mess, I have plenty of busted generators will still have bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician, Sam. Thank you, Sam, I guess. No. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Okay, yeah. That took a lot of my health. Oh, one of the generators are literally right over here I could have used. Jeez, a whole nerd part of this area now. <sighs> Am I going the right way? Yes, I am, actually. Hmm, okay. Had to make sure. Yeah, because there's the uh, thingy to get the power back on. So we can try and route the train. No, that is a grenade. Okay, some gunpowder. Nice. We also have a few chained doors we can finally open now that we got the tool to open them. But let us do this first.
There we go. Or not. There we go. Oh, come on. Well, he's gone. There we go. Okay. Is there any more bullets around me? Because I'm starting to get low. A few lockers. Here we go. Gunpowder. There we go. Combine. There we go. Another padlock. Don't have a key, though. Or a lockpick, at the very least. Nothing that could be useful to help us in a situation. But still pretty good. Red herb, but we don't have any green ones to use it for yet, so... Have to wait on that. What is that exactly? Kevin, okay, Here we go, finally a hip pouch. Now we finally get more inventory space. To employees and sponsor of outbreaks across sea, we have implemented inter international power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on a main power switch in control room to reactivate the grid. Oh, uh, great. The generators are in there. Oh, great. That's going to be fun. Well, we will be doing that in the next video. Let me save. Ooh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It supports me and the channel. If you guys have any gaming recommendations, I'll do leave it in the comments down below. But until then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.